Hey guys, welcome to an overclocking guide for the GDX 980 gaming graphics card from MSI. Uh, first of all, please download the tools you need here. GPU-Z, Fermark, NVIDIA Inspector, MSI Afterburner and the latest 3 d Uh I put the download links in the description on my website so you can just download it from there. Once you got the tools ready, open GPU-Z twice. Open the sensor tab here and you can click on start render test but not at full screen so if you keep the render test running it will force the GPU to go to 3D mode you can see it now turned uh, on the full 3D uh, clocks 1328 and you can see the full 3D voltage 1.2620 volt alright um, the next thing you have to do is open the MSI afterburner uh, yeah, to unlock the core voltage, you have to go to the settings and unlock voltage control here. Now I want to show you an um, um, interesting trick. If you apply the full core voltage here, plus 100, you can see the actually the, the core volt stays the same, 1.2620 volt, which is quite interesting. Uh, maybe I'm not sure if it's only BIOS related. I already saved the BIOS and put it on uh, on the overclocking.guide website in the in the guide so you can download it from there and um, s um, flash it to your card maybe it helps I'm not sure if it's only uh, if this trick only applies to my card all right so um, reset this one close it that was just to show you now open the Nvidia inspector version 1.971 volt uh, 7 point uh, version uh, go to show overclocking and now a very interesting thing is that already at stock it says plus 62.5 millivolt voltage offset and if you change this let's say to plus 200 nothing changes here and I measured it on the card with a multimeter nothing changed there it changes there either but if you drag it to the full plus 237.5 millivolt apply clocks and voltage you can see a boost here it now changed to 1.2750 uh, there's uh, quite a big difference from uh, what you can read out here with the GPU-C and the actual free, um, voltage on the card. I measured it with a multimeter and uh, if you have it like this, the stock, the 1.26 uh, volt is basically measured 1.305 volt. And if you push this one to the max and you have um, 1.275 volt here it's actually 1.322 volt if you measure it with a multimeter keep it like this don't change anything else and close the inspector now go back to the afterburner and open it and suddenly you also have the plus 237 millivolt here which is quite interesting uh, I recommend to keep the temperature limit at the same level here and now you can basically go and start overclocking you could do, uh, if you want to do it quite fast, you can start with uh, steps of 100 megahertz, around 100. You can see I applied it already. You can see it turned to 1434 megahertz, also the same which you can see here. And a quick test, uh, if it's stable, would be the 3D mark, which I don't want to run now um, for the video, but you can run it afterwards to see if it's fairly stable, if it's fine. Uh, close the rendering test, uh, open Fermark. It's basically a stress tool for your GPU. Uh, you can I just set it to these uh, values um, for the for the video, but you can also put it on full screen with a higher resolution, which will be even more stressing for your GPU. Uh, click on burn-in test, apply, and you will see uh, the the temperature here is raising quite fast. Uh, you sh it should not exceed 85 degrees, otherwise your GPU will clock down and you will lose frames. And it's also not healthy so keep this test running for maybe one hour uh, if it's stable go play some games maybe for five hours and if it's stable you can increase the clocks even higher uh, just always keep an eye on the temperature if you're always below 85 degree nothing will happen because this this voltage is not um, uh, yeah, not really uh, dangerous for your GPU so if you got this stable just increase the clocks even more uh, sorry, there was a temperature limit. Um, maybe even 250. Apply. Burning test again. 
you can see this is now 1581 megahertz it could be that your card is not capable of doing uh, so much but if you do the trick i showed you with a, a nvidia inspector you can for sure push maybe 50 megahertz higher than using just the afterburner all right uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments thanks